found that this actually fits perfectly into here. And uh, see if I can get a good shot from the back. So you can see the end there. I just covered it with duct tape to, you know, prevent the uh, uh, from scoring the metal too much. But I can tilt it a little bit so that I can I can hit the lip of this uh, this end cap here. And I've just been hammering on it similarly to like when I removed the cap on the end. And you can see it's already come a little bit. So I think I can I can just finish hammering it out of there. And when I'm ha when I'm hammering it, I'm just kind of alternating, going like a like a cross pattern, so that I can basically push it out uh, evenly. Nice. So there we go. Uh, now I have access to the back of the uh, the dynamic jaw, and I'll be able to push. Let's see if I can get something to point here. I'll be able to push this out with maybe a uh, like a bottle jack or something like that, so I can push all along this lip here and just push it out. You can see this lip here, where I'm uh, pointing here. That basically mates up against here. You can see that. And obviously the holes have to line up. Uh, I'm just kind of going to kind of note how these lined up before because it seems like uh, I don't see any kind of keying. Let me see. Man, this thing smells bad. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit, but anyway, we'll revisit that again when we reinstall it. Um, but basically that, that line is going to basically line up with like right about in there. Yeah. We're going just like that. You can see it's pretty tight, so you're going to have to i going to have to bang it in there, but it's pretty exciting because now I have access to the back of this uh, dynamic jaw.